what is the rcp the rcp procedure used to find out the problems of pancreas gallbladder and bile ducts it's done with the special camera we called an endoscope the endoscope carefully guided down esophagus it goes through your stomach and small intestine to reach the area that gastroenterologist needs to see doctor can do several things during the procedure contrast dye can be injected to your biliary system and pancreas and this helps gastroenterologist to take clear x-rays your doctor may need to take some tissue samples a bile duct which is not working properly can be opened if you have gallstones they can be removed what is the procedure for a rcp local anesthetic spray may be applied as a spray to your throat to numb the gagging your vital signs closely monitored throughout the procedure the procedure may be short or lengthy depending on the complexity of the case a mouth tube used to protect your teeth and endoscope the rcp scope will be inserted into the mouth pass through the esophagus into the stomach and duodenum air is insufflated to the standard duodenum and allow visualization once the scope is in the duodenum the major papilla is located it's important to know the secretion from both the pancreas and bile duct jointly drained into the duodenum through the major papilla a guide wire and catheter are inserted through the opening of papilla to gain an access to the pancreatic or bile duct depending on where the disease lies Using fluoroscopy which is combination of an x-ray machine guide wire and contrast dye injected by a catheter. The desired duct can be labeled and the doctor is able to identify the problem and provide treatment. If a stone is identified either in pancreas or biliary tree it can be removed by cutting the sphincter muscle within the major papilla this is called sphincterotomy. The stone is removed by pulling it out of the duct and into the small ball using the balloon to sweep and clean the duct it can then pass out safely with the stool. If a blockage or suspicious tissue is observed a sample can be observed and sent to the lab for analysis. In the pancreatic duct when fluid collection stones and strictures are present a stent will be inserted to bypass the obstruction or to drain the fluid once the obstruction is bypassed the normal flow can be reestablished. In the bile duct a tumor causes blockage and requires drainage a metal stent if malignant disease or plastic stent if it is unknown if it is obstruction or malignant can be used to bypass the blockage and reestablishes the flow into the duodenum